10 Strangest Things Found in Storage Units. Hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Please take the time as well to hit the like button. 10. Lotus Submarine Car. Now this was a big find for anyone who's a fan of James Bond or movie memorabilia in general. It seems that some guy from Long Island decided that he'd have some fun and head on down to a storage container auction, probably not expecting too much other than adding a little excitement to his life and maybe making a little extra change. He ended up dropping only $100 on a random container that he thought looked like a winner. What he found when he looked inside must have absolutely floored him. When the container was opened up, he ended up face to face with none other than the Lotus submarine car that featured in The Spy Who Loved Me, which was a James Bond movie that hit way back in 1977. It seems that it disappeared for a little bit after filming wrapped up, and we have to assume that the person it ended up with put it away in storage, forgot about it, then fell on hard times. When a big ticket item like this is found in a storage unit, we can't help but wonder why the previous owner was unable to keep up with their payments. What's even more ridiculous is the fact that if they were hard up on cash, they could have just sold their prized possession instead of letting somebody else pick it up for a steal at an auction. The guy who ended up with the car ended up selling it rather quickly for $966,560,000 to billionaire Tesla Motors CEO Elon Musk. That's a solid return on nothing more than $100. The best part is that the guy had no idea what he had won only finding out after being told by another motorist as he drove the car home. 9. NASA Rocket There have been plenty of strange finds found in storage units in the past, but one of the stranger finds ended up taking place not during a random local auction, but on the set of Auction Hunters. We've heard all the talk that some of these shows have plants hidden amongst the units, but we're sure that this find isn't one of them as it's really out there and not something that we'd expect would be easy or worthwhile to procure, even for a hit show. Alan Half and Clint Jones, who both starred in the episode along with the rest of the cast, ended up paying $1,500 for the unit, which could be considered a little risky by most standards. When they took a closer look and started going through their unit, they realized that they had picked up a NASA countdown clock along with an actual NASA rocket. The rocket had been used, of course, but that's a pretty interesting thing to have pop up in a storage unit anywhere. The pair had no idea what to do with their find, so true to the show's layout, ended up heading on out to talk to an expert who knew a thing or two about space memorabilia. We are sure they then ended up selling it to some interested party, although we have no idea where we'd even begin to look for buyers if we were trying to offload such a random item. 8. Dead Body now this one's a little gruesome, but is completely true. Don't worry, we even double checked to be sure just because we had to know for sure. It seems that when her mother died at the age of 95, daughter Bobby Hancock promised that she would handle all the ins and outs, including one would assume the burial of the dead woman. It seems that she kind of forgot that all important aspect, later saying that there were rainstorms during the time she had planned to get that sorted out and that her truck was acting up, which made things overly difficult. Instead of doing what most people would do, which would be to arrange alternate plans, Hancock just headed on down to a local storage facility and checked her mom in, leaving her there until she fell behind on payments. The body was found when the unit was slated to be auctioned off, with the authorities eventually working out what had happened. Bobby's brother has since added to the story that his sister gave, stating that he's sure she didn't forget but just couldn't cope with the loss of her mother and simply ignored the fact that it had happened. It also doesn't help that she was a bit of a hoarder, which probably made adding her mom to the long list of stuff that she can't just bear to give up somewhat easier for her to justify than it would be for the rest of us. 7. Nick Cage's Stolen Comic Book Nick Cage is a really weird guy. If you don't believe us, just ask the internet. It seems one of his relatively unknown vices is collecting comic books, with his love for comics dating back to when he was a kid. He really dedicated himself to Superman comics in particular, working hard to get the entirety of the collection under his belt, along with his massive collection of other rare and interesting comics. On a side note, this could have a lot to do with the fact that he ended up filing for bankruptcy, despite all the money he made during his career. The guy really likes buying random stuff and putting it on display. Back to the comic book aspect, his collection ended up being stolen one day, along with Action Comics number 1, which is supposed to be worth around $1 million. Despite being lost for good, that comic turned up in a storage locker by one random bidder. Not being sure exactly what it was worth, 
the guy called up a random comic book store and made an inquiry. Turns out the guy he called was the same guy who originally sold the book to Nick Cage and he ended up getting the book back to its rightful owner. We're not sure how much he paid to get it back, but that's a pretty neat story regardless. Although we probably would have just held on to the book and resold it for a mint if we're being completely honest. Six, human leg. It isn't just dead grandmothers that turn up in storage units, but also dismembered body parts. In this case, a leg wrapped in cellophane and stuffed inside a meat smoker was picked up at an auction with the new owner having no clue what the smoker contained until he brought it home, set it up, and attempted to turn it on. We have to assume that it was a pretty gruesome discovery and not one that he's likely to forget anytime soon, if ever. The original owner, one John Wood, was supposedly found by police after getting his information from the owners of the storage facility. Turns out he had fallen behind on payments, but really wanted his dismembered leg back because he wanted to be buried with it. You really can't make this stuff up, and we can't believe someone was so bold as to simply ask the cops for a leg back like it was a lost wallet. Making things even more awkward, the auction winner, Shannon Wisnant, ended up asking for joint custody of the leg so he could charge money for people to come and see it. Wood refused, so Wisnot took him to court, with Wood eventually being granted full custody of the leg. Strange, right? 5. Unreleased Michael Jackson Tracks It isn't unheard of for people to find unreleased music recorded by famous artists after they've died, and we all know that Michael Jackson was a prolific recorder of songs. He produced countless numbers of tracks, with many of them ending up as hits at one point or another. That's why this next strange find isn't as strange as it may seem, but it's still worth looking into. The unit in question was once owned by Michael's father, Joe Jackson, and hidden amongst the other items were around 250 songs that nobody had ever heard before. Making the find even more impressive were a number of tracks that Michael had performed alongside Tina Turner, a lot of which were recorded at times when he was unsigned. That means that no label owns the rights, and that the winner of the auction is now legally the rightful owner, able to profit however they like. With so many Michael Jackson tracks found, that could end up translating to a ton of money if they feel like going that route and using them to earn some extra cash. 4. Aretha Franklin's Clothing Aretha Franklin once had a fire in her home and it seems like she ended up storing a bunch of her belongings in a unit in Michigan, with many of those being shoes and hats. She eventually stopped making payments for one reason or another and the unit was put up for auction, with the winner receiving a huge amount of her clothes and accessories. We don't know what happened to them afterward, but if that buyer had held on to his new purchase, he could have stood to make a lot of money. She was already a big name at the time, but we're sure that her belongings would have sold today for untold amounts and we bet people would kill to wear anything of hers. Even music memorabilia collectors would pay top dollar for Aretha Franklin stuff. So while this was probably an interesting find, we're not sure if it was all that profitable for whoever ended up with it. If they didn't end up banking, we're sure they ended up regretting it later on for sure. 3. Hand Grenade Now this find is just plain wrong. We can't imagine what kind of person would try to store a hand grenade in a storage unit, but it seems that they're out there. One bidder came across the live ordinance when they were picking through their winnings. Thankfully, they realized it wasn't a toy and instead of playing with it, they immediately called the police, who in turn sent in the bomb squad to defuse it. The operation went off without a hitch, but we're sure that's a story that the bidder will be telling for years to come. 2. Kit K-I-T-T. -T. The car from Knight Rider is one of the most iconic vehicles of all time, much like the Lotus submarine car. The similarities go even deeper, as Kent also has spent time in a storage locker. This car, however, wasn't put up for auction and was only reported on because employees at the storage facility couldn't get over how awesome it was to see it brought in. The owner, located in the UK, decided that he didn't have enough space for it anymore, but wasn't quite ready to give it up. So you never know, one day he might miss a few payments and some lucky bidder in the UK could end up picking it up for a steal. One, $500,000 plus. Finding a little bit of gold, jewelry, or cash in a storage unit is enough to make pretty much any auction lover get a little giddy. Many times, purchasing a unit can be more of a crapshoot than anything, with the real good stuff tucked away where nobody can see it. The world of auctions relies on people with a good gut instinct, and that's exactly what this next winner has in spades, it seems. 
Just take a look at the story of a guy in San Jose who bought a unit for $1,100. For that kind of price, we figured that he had some sense of what he was getting himself into. But it turns out that he had no clue the epic loot stash was there when he made his purchase. It was only upon rifling through the contents of the locker, going through the random stuff that he hadn't considered right off the bat, that he found a closed up Rubbermaid container. Those are usually good here and there, but it all depends on what kind of person the previous owner was, with most of them holding nothing more than sentimental junk. This particular container, however, held more than $500,000 worth of rare and antique coins, along with a solid number of solid gold and silver ingots. We can't imagine how happy that guy must have been when he made his big discovery but it's clear that he ended up banking on what would have been a real gamble on any other day.